talking about your Roush teammates, we're going to go back to Darlington and talk about the 2003 spring race. Kurt Busch, Ricky Craven. I'm from New England, so I was pulling hard for the 32 and Ricky Craven on that day. And I remember jumping in front of the screen when he crossed the line, and my dad got so mad at me, he hit me in the back of that. He's like, you're blocking the screen. And uh, But that was one of the coolest and closest finishes that we've ever seen. Yeah, and it wasn't just that coming for the, the, the you know, that last straightaway. I mean, that was, that battle was absolutely phenomenal. And the contact, the, the mild contact that was made throughout those last few laps, I, it's amazing that you can do that. I'm talking about a racetrack, you know, 150, 60, 70 miles an hour. And you just don't lean on each other and not wreck. You're already wrecking. I mean, if that other car wasn't even out there, you would be just about to wreck. It was incredible, the race that they were able to put on. Masterful for job from both Ricky and Kurt. And just absolutely coming across the start-finish line with the smoke flying. And each guy turned directly into the other. You know, both of them turned, you know, and it's just like smoke flying and you know, just perfectly side by side. It was amazing. Jeff, what, what did you, what was your take on that finish? Was it, is it up there for you? Is it one of your, you know, as a fan, is it one of your favorite finishes? All right. So selfish race car driver. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah. I raced with Ricky and Kurt early in that race and I had their ass beat and we broke a motor. That's what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Jeff this is not one of <laughs> Jeff's favorite races. Period. I, I remember going up on the pit box because uh, Jack always sat on Mark's pit box, which I always thought was cool, right? Like I'm Jack Roush and this is Mark Martin. I sit on his pit box. I always thought that was cool. And I remember crawling up that pit box and saying, man, I don't know what happened to that motor, but we had their ass beat. 